Okay, welcome back, everyone. Now, we are uh, getting things set up real quick here. We are uh, connecting with uh, Jim McFarland out on the West Coast. He's uh, with a company called Flexor Sports, and uh, I'm going to Oh, here we go. And so uh, Jim is getting ready to join us. I just have a little few things in the background and uh, Jim will be joining us on the air in just a second here. I, n I now have him back on my iPad and hopefully they've got us ready to go. So if we could pull Jim up and uh, chat with him now. Uh, good morning, Jim. Thank you for joining us so very early in the morning there. You're welcome. Good morning. Okay, now now you have run a company called Flexor Sports. First, tell us, uh, you know, how did you get involved with the, the whole idea of making a better water bottle out there? Well, um, basically, I uh, am an athlete myself, an avid runner, triathlete, and my whole family has been into athletics. Uh, all my kids uh, through high school, uh, I have um, a daughter that plays uh, collegiate volleyball. And... Um, it really came about at one of her tournaments. Uh, we were just looking around, uh, marveling at the overflowing trash cans of plastic bottles. These girls just, it's just the waste was incredible. And, um, you know, just the, the typical mm -hmm. not being satisfied with the products that were out there, didn't like the bottles we had. Um, they were, you know, they, they just get nasty. You couldn't clean them. We were concerned about the bacteria issues and then the taste, you know, they didn't taste right. So we just started looking to see if we could improve on that. And you know, you and, came uh, up uh, with a very unique idea. I know you're gonna explain it to us as we roll some video, but you've come up with this very unique bottle. Could you tell us about it? Water bottles, especially sports type bottles are very hard. Uh, they're not very pliable, flexible. Um, mm -hmm. We made ours very flexible, squeezable. Um, therefore there's our name, Flexor. <laughs> Um, but one of the big twists that we did was um, to alleviate the bacteria issues and the need for having to deal with, you know, foul tasting bottles, we came up with a liner system, uh, kind of like the old baby bottle concept. Um, oh. So ours has a um, biodegradable compostable liner. Uh, it is a multi-use liner, so you can use it multiple times if you want, but, but it's kind of your choice. If you're using something besides waters, protein, carbohydrate mixes, so many people use those little tabs. Right. Then, you know, those really, really screw up your bottles if you leave them laying around in the heat. So now you can just simply take the liner, cost you about nine cents, and you have a brand new bottle. Wow, that's amazing. And you said the all week, because we were talking about Earth Day, and you said actually there's something special about these liners too. Well, yeah, the liners are um, a FDA approved um, low density polyethylene plastic. So, mm -hmm. um, they're healthy for you. They're 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 not a problem. They're BPA free, okay. but they also have an additive in them that uh, when you do uh, throw them away and they go into a landfill, they biodegrade. Wow. So they biodegrade, and we've actually we've actually put them in a compost pile because I live out here in the country and I have mm -hmm. a little compost pile, and I mean they're gone. They go away. So we're not adding to the landfill issues anymore. That is just incredible. You know, I, it sounds like an, a really neat idea and it sounds like it's going to take off. And I think that people here in the Upper Peninsula are going to really attach to this. I, you know, I understand that Flexor has got a website. Could you tell us about that? We do. It is uh, www.flexrsports.com, spelled F-L-E-X-R, sports, plural, dot com. All right, super. And, uh, yeah, we have a lot of really good information, some videos um, on just how to use the product, how it's done, you know, things like that. So, Okay, and I know you also have a Facebook page. I know later on this morning after I get off the air, we're going to be uh, putting this interview on our YouTube page, and we'll be sharing all of those links so folks can check out more about this really biodegradable liner and how people can uh, even be more earth-friendly. Absolutely, yes. Uh, well, I thank you so much for waking up so very early in the day and joining us here uh, here in the Upper Peninsula and letting us know about this, Jim. I'm going to let you go back to bed now, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. Good night. Thanks. You have a good one. Yeah. All right. And again, a big thank you to Jim McFarland from Flexor Sports joining us this morning, telling us a little bit more about an easy way that you can make Earth Day a little bit more Earth-friendly this year. TV6 Morning Show will be right back.